Today, I'm going to tell you about five skills that you can put on your resume that will make you more employable. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about five skills that will put you ahead of the pack when it comes to your resume. Now, these skills aren't necessarily taught in college, but it'll help with the keyword search algorithms that employers are using when they scan your resume. And you can learn the basics of this stuff in roughly two or so weeks. Now, you know the deal, like and subscribe. You're welcome to follow me on Twitter or connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you think there's something that needs to be added to this list, leave something in the comments. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Now, I'm mostly a C-sharp.net guy, but these skills are pretty much universal no matter what stack you choose. Now, the first item is SQL, and it really doesn't matter what SQL you choose. You can choose Microsoft SQL or MySQL or Postgres SQL. It's pretty much all the same across all different kinds of relational databases with some minor adjustments for each. You want to learn the basics of SQL because these days, pretty much everything you do is going to end up in a database somewhere. and Odds are it's going to be a relational database. So the basics for this would be CRUD operations. Learn how to create, read, update, and delete records inside a database. Know what a clustered and non-clustered index is and know how to do a simple join. Now, I'm not saying to become a DBA, but if you know how to create a web page, Take that information from a web form and put it into a database and then have another page where you read that information back out of the database, you are much more likely to get a job than someone who doesn't know how to do that. The second skill is JIRA. Now, whenever I mention this, the Seymours of the world are all like, yeah, that's stupid. JIRA is just a tool. You need it. Just let me explain, Seymour. Uh, so Jira is basically a project tracking tool. Um, there's also Pivotal Tracker or Monday.com or TFS, which I think now is called Azure DevOps. It's just that right now it seems like Jira is the most popular. Now Jira is free for up to 10 users and it's really useful for tracking your projects. You can use it to track your personal projects. You can use it to track your school projects and you can give out different accounts to people who are working with you on school projects so you can track where you are in completion of a project. And once you learn a little bit about Jira, you can learn a little bit about the Agile development methodology. If you don't know anything about Agile, don't worry about it. I have a video on Agile at the end of this video. Now, here's why Jira is important. If you have Jira and Agile on your resume, I'm going to think, huh, maybe this guy knows a little bit about the software development lifecycle. And that's a pretty important thing not to have to teach someone when you're hiring them. So when it comes to Jira, know how to create a sprint, add tickets to a sprint, and move those tickets across the board until they're complete. The third skill is Git. Now, Git and GitHub are so useful because it's where most of the world tends to keep their projects. Source and version control is so important to modern computer programming that I don't know how we'd function today without it. Yes, if you're in college doing personal projects, you can take your directories and zip them and send them up to Google Drive as your version control but I would suggest you start practicing using Git now. Now, I've been using Git for years, and even I don't know everything about Git. Honestly, I Google a lot of stuff when I have to do it, so I don't expect you to know Git all that well, but be able to create a repository, push something to that repository, pull something from that repository. I don't expect you to do rebasing and merging yet, but be able to do simple tasks such as checking in and checking out code. The fourth thing you should learn is AWS or Azure. Now, I know what you're thinking. Like, AWS and Azure, if you combine the two, there's like 400 services. Like, I, I know you don't have to learn every single service. My suggestion is on AWS or Azure, learn how to spin up a machine, create a pipeline to that machine and deploy to that machine. Now this might be pushing the boundary of learning something in two weeks, but it'll be very useful because DevOps is only growing in importance and knowing how to do this can help get you a job as a junior DevOps person. The fifth skill is Docker. Now, if you're running Windows 10 Home, you're not going to be able to run Docker. So my suggestion is get something like VirtualBox and run Linux, and then you can install Docker on Linux in a virtual machine. Create a small project, learn how to build a container, deploy a container, and start and stop those containers. Once you learn containers, you're going to wonder how the heck we did anything before the advent of containers. And it's another bullet point in your resume that's going to make people take notice. Now, if you're really pressed for time, you can only learn one thing. My suggestion is to learn SQL. And maybe if you have enough time, learn a little bit about Git. Jira and Docker are really more like nice to haves. AWS and Azure are also nice to have, but it may be too difficult to learn that quickly in order to pass an interview. SQL, Git, Jira, Azure or AWS, and Docker are five things that you can put in your resume to make you stand out from the crowd. Good luck on your next interview. <laughs>